So I've been watching these YouTube videos all week, and I think I've finally got it down. Ah! It's pretty cool, but I still don't think they'll let us get a goat in the office. And this is your week in the Charlatan. Hey guys, this week in Multimedia, we have a video asking students about their relationships and whether or not they believe in soulmates. Check that out on the YouTube page. Hey guys, this week we'll be telling you what CUSA's referendum questions are and how they'll be affecting you and the rest of campus. And res, ton of murals are making a comeback. We get you the details on that. And that's this week in news. Hi, I'm Sammy and I'm filling in for Marina and National this week. In this issue, we're looking at a York football coach who is charged with child luring and attempting to make child pornography, as well as a Harvard petition to create a nap room on campus. And that's National this week. Hey guys, I'm back. So this week in features is our love section. So we look at two really cool things. One, we look at if such a thing as a soulmate exists. And then we look into LGBTQ dating, what the challenges are, and uh, tips for everybody. So that's This Week in Features. Hey, it's Tom. This week we have an ex Acacia president writing about why Greeks have been overlooked on campus, and a few more voices on the CUSA funding Greek organizations debate. That's This Week in Op-Ed. This week, the section includes a couple band profiles, including one that is opening for Of Monsters and Men on North American tour, and that's the Speaking Arts. Hi everyone, this week in Charleston Sports, we have a story on the men's hockey team who unfortunately will not be going to nationals because they lost to UQTR in the OUA East Division Finals. Also, we have a story on the men's basketball team who uh, won the OUA Championship this weekend versus Ottawa U and also a preview of the teams attending this week's CAS Final 8 at Scotiabank Place. That's This Week in Sports.